Hey guys, welcome back to This With Them. My name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we have a pretty awesome snack box to try today. Yeah, it's from Japan, but it's a bit different, isn't it? Paul, who sent us this box, actually two boxes, yep. has done a little bit of prep work. He's done a challenge for us, hasn't He's he? He's done a bit of a challenge. So instead of us just trying these different flavors of Pringles and we've got six, He's actually covered up all the flavor markings. Yeah. So we're going to have to guess. I think that's going to be really fun. interesting. Yeah. Thank you for going above and beyond and doing that rather than just us trying the six. You know, it gives it something a bit more exciting. Yeah. Hi, I live in Japan and run a YouTube channel called Critical Eats Japan, where I often feature stuff like Japanese fast food and snacks. At the start of a new year, I asked my viewers to recommend other channels they think would be interested in trying some of these snacks. I hope you don't mind. It appears we share some of the same subscribers as they thought your channel would be a great match. That's cool. No way, that's really awesome. Do let us know in the comments down below if you follow us as well as Critical Eats Japan. Yeah. Did you wanna? I have labeled them in case you weren't quite sure what they were. And if you decide to make a video trying any of them, I will certainly direct my audience, audience to your channel to see your reaction. If you have any questions, please contact me on my social media. Thanks, Paul. So that goes with that first box. And then, and then this, this is... is the second box. Here is a small collection of Japanese Pringles for you to try. I have covered the labels in case you are interested in doing a blind taste test. But of course, feel free to use them in whatever way you see fit. These look like really handy receptacles for hiding um, tins of beer. <laughs> um, beneath the cover, I have also included a translation of each flavor. Oh, wow. Some of the flavors may be difficult to guess and also come as a surprise, but I wish you the best of luck. I hope they'll survive the shipping process without too many bumps. Also, thanks so much for the box of UK snacks you sent me. I will be posting an unboxing video on my own channel in the near future when I get the chance. Yes, yeah, so make sure you go over to his channel, check out some of his videos because mm. he'll be um, posting our video soon. And if anyone else would like a British candy box, we'll leave a link down below. Down below. Take right, should we do Cheetos I think we first? Should... Oh, right. I oh, you want to do these first? Yeah, I kind of want to do those first. Okay, pick one. I think this one. Now, what are we doing? Any sniffing? Are we allowed to I smell and everything? Sniff. I don't know if it's a you against me. I think we're both just going to have to try and. Because I. I think it's going to be really difficult. Mm. That smells like soy sauce or teriyaki. It does smell like teriyaki sauce, doesn't it? Here we go. And that's the thing. These aren't just going to be like, oh, cheese and onion. Well, you are quite cheese and onion, aren't they, in a way? But I think you're right. I think, I think it's, it's so, a like teriyaki. Soy or teriyaki. Maybe like that teriyaki barbecue. Mm. Teriyaki noodles. Mm, that'd be cool. <laughs> These are really good. I think they probably have a more exciting name. Yeah. But they definitely taste like... But the essence is teriyaki or soy, sweet soy. Soy, teriyaki. Mm. How do you want to go about it? I Opening it now? Just find out now, yeah. Okay. Want to go for it? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Is it? Chicken, Chicken soy, soy ramen. Soy ramen. I said noodles. Soy ramen. I said soy, didn't we? Very good. I think we did quite good. Mm. I can't really taste chicken in that. No. It's definitely like the soy sauce and uh, yeah, like ramen. How funny. I'm really pleased with that. I love the uh, packaging. Yeah. Like, really I love cool, that like it? navy blue black. I would say that was a success, that one. I would say, yeah, we did that. Right, you, you pick. Oh, I'll pick and then you open, open on this one. Uh, they were good. What would you one. give those? Oh, we were 30th anniversary. I'd give them like a seven. I really like them. I think I'd give them, I'd happily eat them. I'd give them an eight or a nine, mm, I think. Yeah, I'd happily eat them. All right, I'll open these ones and then you can do the reveal. Interesting smell. Got a lot of powder on them. It looks like a burger. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. It tastes like a McDonald's. Tastes like the gherkin. Gherkin. On a burger, doesn't it? We've mentioned this before, but on a McDonald's, you know, just a plain cheeseburger. They've when you take it off and you have those white chunks of cheese, uh, white chunks of onion and the gherkin, that is what that tastes like. Oh my God, these are so good. Uh -huh. These are either burger, burger sauce or gherkin. Burger condiments. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like burger, gherkin or mm. onion. It's so awesome. They have so many flavors mm -hmm. and because they're Japanese, they're so different. I oh, know. We can play this. <laughs> And the translation is grilled, grilled cheeseburger. cheeseburger. <laughs> it literally is. That flavour is so good. 
These are insane. These are a 10 out of 10. If we they ever go to Japan, I'll be finding these. These are insane. Mm. They've really captured like, the flavour. Like, how have they got that essence? They've really just captured the flavour. And kind of like that mustardy flavour. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> like it's the tomato, aftertaste. tomato, onion, gherkin, onion. Did I just say onion twice? It's onion, gherkin, onion. Mmm. <laughs> tomato, mustard, onion, gherkin, onion. Yeah. It's like that grilled flavour. Mmm. Mm. Have a look at these. This one. Yeah. I think we've been, um, we've had quite a stroke of luck. I feel yeah. like it might get harder now. Harder now. Don't take off. Oh. This obviously says. I thought the, that was coming off then. No. Obviously says the flavour on it. How's the sniff? Sniff test. Hmm. Smells cheesy. Yeah, it does taste cheesy. What do you reckon? Maybe a cheese fondue or something. Mm. These have all survived pretty well. Hmm. Flavour is definitely not as obvious as the last two. No. I is think it's some... cheesy. Is it like a nacho cheese or almost original? I've had this cheese before. He's definitely just tastes cheesy. Mm. But is it going to be like oh mac and cheese? No. Well, that's I think why I think it's like think it's nacho, nacho cheese. Mm. I hope we're going to be touching that. It definitely that, but... tastes like nacho cheese. Mm. Mm. Like I can't think what else that could be. It's literally just cheese. It must be nacho cheese, must not. That must be nacho cheese, mustn't it? It's gotta be. That's like a tortilla uh, burrito. With, oh yeah, look. Is it tortilla cheese? chips. Let's I take the whole thing off. Of cheese there, or is it like cheese fondue? Oh look, Mexican. Sure, got Mexican yeah. Hat. Nacho, nacho cheese. cheese. Knew it. Definitely. And like the fact that we actually got it was nacho cheese. That's nacho cheese. And this is a new flavour. Delicious. That's good stuff, isn't it? Not super strong flavour. No. I just can't get over this. Whose pick is it? Yours. What is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Why oh, does that say hard? They're hard, aren't they? There's not a lot to say at the moment. What is this like? Because I had the sweet. toxic waste, my tongue's still It's just like roast chicken like... or something. I don't know, it tastes more like um like sweet, doesn't it? Yeah. It's kinda of sweet but it's also kinda of herby. It's definitely the hardest one yet. Mm. Is it like um a sweet chicken, isn't it? Hmm. Peking duck. I've definitely had this somewhere. I think we might have to give it a go and just mm. I reckon roast chicken or chicken and herb or well, like chicken on a kebab. <laughs> mm. It's like roast, it's like chicken, isn't it? Yeah. Here it goes, this is the hard one. <sighs> That's what it tastes like. <laughs> noodles. Oh, it's squid yakisoba fried noodles. That tastes like yakisoba. yakisoba. Yeah. Oh my word. Should have known that. That's what it Love is, yakisoba. it's like squiddy, isn't it? Mm. I guess that's where the sweetness comes from. Mm, the sweetness is like that yucky, mm. the sober bit, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, that was hard. That was a really hard that was one. Really I hard. didn't expect yucky sober. Mm. I just never would have thought that. I never would have thought there would be a crisp flavour. Mm. I'm going to go for this one. I've got to be careful with the lid. These lids are really like tight. I'm like, maybe it's because there's paper on it. There we go. Once oh, you yeah. pop, you can't stop. That's a problem. Oh dear, they're getting harder. We must have picked the easier ones first. Using that as a little tray. Yeah, that doesn't really... I've got a lot um, of smell from that. Spicy. Uh -oh. This is like... um. Korean barbecue. No, this is like... um. What's it called? Red pepper. Jalapeno. Chili pepper. Jalapeno. Jalapeno This is popper. definitely jalapeno. Mexican jalapeno like a, spice or something. Mm, like a... I, I wouldn't say salsa because I can't taste any tomato or anything. No. Woo! That's getting hot. That just tastes like a jalapeno. Mm. Barbecue peppers or something like that. Mm. Mm. Jalapeno popper or... Fajita. Fajita or... That tastes like fajita with jalapeno. Uh, it's a little bit spicy but I really like yeah. it. Yeah, very spicy. It almost, you can taste like the green peppers almost. Mm. I don't know if there's any in there but... I do love Pringles as they are but mm. broken up, great. Yeah. No, it's definitely jalapeno, green peppers, like fajita. We'll find out. This is really good, isn't it? Mm. I'm not gonna look at the name yet. There's a green pepper. There's an onion. There's an onion. Jalapeno and onion. No way! 
I think we get that. I think. And oh, this yeah, is... you definitely said jalapeno. That's it. And Done. I was saying, like, fajita mix. Mm. It's got onions in. I love that colour. Yeah, it's really nice. Like, fresh colour, mm. isn't it? So, so far, we've got one, two, three out of five. Yeah, what did we not get? Yakisoba. We've got four oh, out of five. We, yeah, we got the um, chicken. But we just yeah, didn't we just get, didn't say it was ramen. We got ramen. chicken and soy sauce. Yeah, we just didn't, didn't say, say ramen. ramen. So we've got four. I was almost going to go straight for the open. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's literally lifted up. Their lids are definitely too tight, aren't they? No initial thinking. They look plain as well. Oh, I'm getting smell now. Mmm. Mmm. Like prawn, crab. Like, like prawn cracker or? Hmm. It almost tastes like omelette. It almost tastes like fireworks. Oh my word. Yeah, like, what about that egg soup? It's like that egg soup you get at a Chinese restaurant. That's definitely like... With the sweet corn. Yeah, there's, it's like fishy. It's like prawn crackery. It's like soupy. Mm. It's like a seafood... <laughs> Medley. To open it. Mm. So I'm not going to be able to guess a specific dish from that. No. What is that? I like the colour of that. It's an egg salad sandwich. No way. Yeah. I said egg, didn't I? Yeah. And I think I that's maybe that where egg I'm and getting sweet corn. like the omelette from. Mm. That can kind of taste like that. No way. Egg salad sandwich. It really does almost taste like egg and cress. I'm gonna have to try it again. Now I know. Yeah. Egg. Because it it does have that kind of oh. you know you were doing. <sighs> mm. You can get that taste. Oh, okay. That's where it oh really was. Oh my word, that's it. Seriously, if you want to try, like, find something blindfolded, you go... That's Imagine an egg. having these with an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> that, that's oh, when you're so an egg funny. lover. He's an easy lover. So I would say we got four out of six. That's mm. not too bad, considering they're completely, like, random flavours. Mm. Oh, dear. My favourite out there is definitely these burger ones. Oh, so good. Amazing I did work. really enjoy the soy ones. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go grab the yes, Fanta before it freezes. <laughs> this is Fanta yogurt banana. And you can kind of see yogurt because it's like, um, what's it called? Misty. Whoa! It like shot me in the chest. Oh. He's tried this on his channel. Really? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. What is it? Yogurt and banana? What a strange combination, but it's so refreshing. It's definitely got that banana flavour. Do you know what it almost tastes like? Maybe that's how they got the cloudiness, but mm. when you drink coconut water, mm. it has a certain feel. Yeah. And that it feels does have that, like it? it's... If only I could read anything on there. It's definitely like that fake banana taste, not like real banana yeah. from a smoothie. You know, like those yellow foam bananas. But that's the type of banana I like. So I really like this. I'm surprised. I'd rather have a foam banana than a real banana. <laughs> I'm surprised though that they've teamed it up with yogurt. Like, why yeah. would you do a yogurt banana? Why wouldn't you just do a banana? banana. Pizza, double I think that's cheese, really good though. Emmental and cheddar. Which ones do you want to open first? So I'll just both at the same time. Maybe both at the same time. I don't think I liked them last time, the barbecue ones. Or did we? I think so. It really do taste like a barbecue. Mm. And we do, well, you prefer the puffs, but I really like these crunchy ones. Yeah, you do. Mmm, they are nice. And again, they're slightly sweet. I feel like sweet. I'm going to prefer these days. Mmm. Look at that little nugget. You always forget how, like, strong the packages are in Japan. They're yeah, definitely a sweet barbecue flavour. These are great. You love them. I remember you loving them. The cheese is strong with this one. Mm-hmm. Double cheese. Almost doesn't taste like pizza, no. just purely like cheese. Mm. I think the only bit that tastes like pizza is the bit of herb on it. I guess you're not really going to taste the dough though, are you? No. Mmm. These are good. What are you mm. giving these? I think mm, oddly enough powder. a 10. Yeah. They're great. These, I'm only going to give a 7. Mm. I'm not going to be as bad as those. I'll give them a these nine. These I'm giving a ten. I'll give them a are. nine, but these are a ten. Yeah, what do you need for the Fanta? Mm. Probably an eight. So bizarre. 
With this coming from Banta though, I'm surprised it's not yellow. Have you yeah. seen the colour of some of their drinks? They've got some like bright orangey ones. Maybe they're not in ones. Japan. Maybe not. Well, it's like you say, it's not real banana, so it's not no. really yellow. So yeah, I am surprised. But there was one when I was in um, Mallorca with Mum. Oh, right. The bottle was blue. I don't mm. know if it was blue inside, but you would kind of think Japan would want to make it really bright. But actually, don't Japan like making things quite clear? I wouldn't like to speak for them, I don't know. Either, but we have had a drink I wonder if you can get this there. in one of their vending machines. Oh yeah, around probably. Japan. Right, and last but not least, the sweet treat. Strawberry tiramisu Kit Kat. Now, I'm excited for these ones because sometimes they're trying to be a bit too crazy, Fancy, aren't they? Yeah. Should we a go one two each? Finger. Up to you. I'm just going to have one. Have a break. Have a Because you've done a fruit tiramisu, haven't you? Mm. What was that? Strawberry tiramisu. Oh, it was strawberry. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. It's an oldie, but I'll leave it up there. Mmm, looks <laughs> mm, nice. This is one of the nicer flavoured mm. ones I've tried. But it tastes more alcoholy than coffee. But you, you don't have coffee, do you, in a strawberry tiramisu? No, so maybe they, um, oh, so maybe instead of the coffee it's they've added like a, or something. like a, Maybe they've added like a vodka or something. 45th anniversary. Yeah, I definitely think there's some sort of um, spirit in there. But I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure. Or even if there is, it was much better than when we've had the ones before that oh, had a really the, strong like This is probably flavor. the best one yeah. I've tasted. You know like what I would that. just like to try is a Kit Kat tiramisu, not strawberry tiramisu. Really? I don't know why I'd they're all, maybe strawberry. that's their like palette, but I don't like the really light fruity chocolates. Really? I prefer rich, rich chocolate chocolatey chocolates. I really enjoyed that. I'd probably prefer that to a normal tiramisu really? Kit Kat. That was a really good box, short but sweet. Yeah, perfect. Just that nice little trying with the Pringles mm -hmm. and then these extra bits. Well, it gave it that added thing, like mm. a game to play. Yeah. Um, Brooke has sent us a box and that's a bit of a game as well. Cool. So that'll be coming at some point soon. But I love the added, yeah. the added extra. I've really enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Paul, for sending us both of those boxes. We hope you enjoyed trying our British candy. We're looking forward to watching that video. So don't forget, guys, go head over to his channel and check out some of his videos. Mm. Did you enjoy I that? I enjoyed it, did you? I really enjoyed that. We hope you enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.